2021, we want the Human Rights Council to be accessible and accountable to rights holders all over the world by making remote participation possible for all, not just a few. Accountability, transparency and participation must extend to the UN's budget crisis. We call on states to pay their contributions and demand that civil society be updated and consulted every step of the way. To address situations on their merits and pay more attention to countries with grave human rights concerns and violations to avoid further deterioration. Presidents of the Human Rights Council have increasingly confronted incidents of reprisals against human rights defenders who engage with the Council. We hope that you can further strengthen this practice. We believe attention should be given to countries where the Assistant Secretary General has identified patterns of reprisals, including Saudi Arabia, Egypt and China. To address human rights issues that have aggravated during the pandemic, including the situation of prisons, the situation of migrants, and other increased social and economical inequalities. We also encourage the Council to actively work to prevent the advances of authoritarianism and discriminations of all kinds. To hold Russia accountable for its increasing domestic repression against dissenting opinion, and for its role in spreading ill democracy and supporting authoritarian regimes who are committing human rights violations across the region. The Council and your presidency must also continue to support international investigative mechanisms to hold Belarusian authorities accountable. Likewise, the Council mustn't stop calling for the release of Crimean Tatar human rights defenders, journalists, and civic activists in Russia-occupied Crimea. To hold states accountable for acts of reprisals against human rights defenders. Terrorism should not be instrumentalized to criminalize human rights activities as it is widely done in Saudi Arabia and in Egypt. Saudi activist Lujin al Hatlou, detained after having engaged with CEDAW, and Patrick Zaki, detained for his research for the Egyptian NGO EIPR, should be immediately released, along with all the other political prisoners. To proactively implement the commitments, this would include ensuring allocation of adequate resources for their realization nationally and holding each other to account in their commitments. To defend the life, freedom, the dignity and equality of every man and woman in troubling and challenging times. To ensure that the rights of its LGBTIQ citizens are protected along with every other human right under its mandate. To establish a new prestigious mandate on human rights and climate change and to recognize the right to a safe, clean, healthy and sustainable environment. To ensure that people on the front line of human rights across the world, the journalists, the activists, the environmentalists, the human rights defenders, the colleagues, can be heard and can engage so that human rights violations can be addressed by the Council with the full participation of those who are most affected by them.